So we are going to do a giant set and drop set with dumbbells and a plate. So you're gonna follow me where we start with side raises in a normal extended movement. And then once we've reached failure there, which is probably gonna be around 15 repetitions, give or take, then we will immediately go to a seated position, keeping it strict with your forearms and your humerus, your upper arm, at a right angle there. And be sure to keep your traps down, keep erect, keep aligned, don't shrug. I don't wanna see any cheating come throughout your traps. Once we've finished with the side raises, we'll go into a front raise movement where I will be using a barbell plate, coming overhead and making sure that I work the negative to about there. And then I'll probably lean forward a little bit just for myself to control it going back up and down without putting too much stress onto my lower back. Once I've reached failure there, I'm going to sit down and do an alternate fashion, but this time I'll be pronating my hands just to really work and target the side to front delt insertion. Again, trying to find failure at around 15 repetitions. When I say 15, that's 15 on each arm, not total. And then I'll immediately go to a rear raise where I'll be supported with my palms facing behind me so it really isolates the rear delt. Once I finish there, I'll stick to the same weight and I'll have my palms facing towards each other again in a bent over fashion, but not supported. So I can use a little bit more of my rhomboids with my palms facing like that and maybe a little bit more body momentum so I can take out another 15 repetitions. So we'll do around four, I'm guessing, sometimes I, I train instinctively, but I'm guessing around four circuits, four sets there. And then we will pair off and do a final exercise that is separate to this for the traps. And that will be a shrugging movement, supersetted with an upright row. And that's it. Man, I'm out of breath talking to you, so I'm gonna get straight into the workout. That you'll notice that I do straight after I do the conventional side raise you can use a little bit more leverage and a little bit more swing when it comes to side raise and a little bit of a forward and backward movement in your back so you can go heavy however when you shorten that leverage at a right angle it becomes that much more difficult it becomes very isolated especially as you pre fatigue it Oh, come on, motherfucker. So what you'll notice with uh, most of the movements, you'll see that I paused as I started to reach failure. So sometimes that was like three quarters of the way through. So I'd employ the rest pause principle, meaning let's say if I'm supposed to do 15 repetitions, I'd stop at around 10 because I've reached failure, but it doesn't mean I stop and put them down and just walk away. I have to reach the 15 repetitions. I find the benefit of training with a lot of volume like this is, you know, there's a few advantages. Number one, with the intensity there, you don't burn off a lot of calories in a workout like this. So if you're dieting down, I essentially like to take in a lot of calories. I prefer to take in more calories and amp up the intensity of my workout because I feel like I'm able to assimilate that much more food, increase my protein synthesis to a certain degree, and absorb more nutrients. 
which allows me to grow. Because if I cut out too many calories and then just train conventionally, I think I'm limited to how much the body can grow. to get my breath back here. Luckily I'm relatively fit but still you always push yourself a little bit harder until it feels like you're unfit. Fucking hell that was taxing. Remember we're doing six exercises pretty much in one shot within a couple of minutes so you're not going to be able to perform with the same amount of weight as you usually would. Maybe on the first exercise like on the side raise You'd be going pretty heavy, but after that, you'll have to substantially reduce your weight. We are done. Thanks for watching, guys. Man, I have my post workout shake. I'm out.